Hello, you're watching New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Ruth in a surgeon. Here we look at stories making headlines across the country. But this bulletin is going to be dedicated to what happened on Lake Victoria on the weekend. Now we start with the police marine unit and the Uganda People's Defense Forces who are still conducting the rescue mission to retrieve the bodies of people who drowned in Lake Victoria after the boat carrying over a hundred revealers capsized. Now this happened at around 7 p.m. on Saturday as a group headed to Tampa Beach for the weekend. Government has singled out the boat was not licensed to carry passengers on the boat cruise and it was on the wanted list of never carrying out any activity on the lake since it did not meet the required standards. However, the boat owner, Tempra Bisase, or Bisaso and his wife, both of whom apparently per perished in the accident, did not hint to the security regulations, but proceeded with organizing a boat cruise, which was destined for Cape Ham Beach in Mokwana. <laughs> We continue with the stories following that accident. Now the president of Uganda, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, has ordered to charge the operators of the boat that capsized on Lake Victoria with criminal negligence and man slaughter. Now in his condolence message, the deceased Museveni added that this should be done if they have not already been punished for their mistake by dying in the accident. Now the boat was owned by somebody called Tempra Bisase or Bisaso and his wife, both of whom apparently perished in the accident. Now the president's, president's statement stated that the two were coming from a private beach and headed to another private, private beach in Mukono area. On the boat, which was licensed to carry only 50 passengers, had over 100 passengers. Only 26 survivors have been rescued and 30 bodies retrieved from the lake. I don't want to bring them you're watching the news around Uganda. I am Ruth Nasajita. Let's take a break and look at what is making headlines in today's copy of the New Vision. Now, for those who cannot access the hard copy of the New Vision, the link is on your screen. It is where you can find all the e-papers uh, of Vision Group. Now, subscribe to it and you can just enjoy what is happening in today's dailies. I am Ruth Nasaje. You're still watching the news around Uganda. Now, let us look at more stories making headlines across the country. Now, in Mulago, so many people are still flocking Mulago City Mortuary to, to receive the bodies of their relatives who drowned in Lake Victoria on Saturday. Now, some of the bodies were given to their relatives on Sunday, which is yesterday, after undergoing an identification process. Many are still waiting to receive the bodies of their relatives and some are still not sure whether the bodies are at Mulago Mochari. The process is still ongoing and the somber and the mood sorry is somber. <laughs> Closing of the bulletin is the moment that the revelers who perished in the boat that capsized on Lake Victoria had as they proceeded for the boat cruise. Now it was joy and anticipation for the fun to experience at Tampa Beach from the revelers whose journey was cut short by the ill-fated boat that capsized, capsized on Lake Victoria on Sunday. Now the revelers were seen taking pictures, some dancing and also drinking as they sailed on the lake. Some of them who were seen having fun were Prince David Wasaja, the brother to the King of Buganda, uh, Ronald Mwenda Mtevi, musician Irene Nambiru, fashionista Shark Bryan, who is also known as the Last King, John Kadu, free man among so many people. Now, so far, only 26 survivors have been reported, and the and the number of the dead has risen to 30. Wasaja Nambiru and Kadu. Uh, also among the survivors. Now the police search and rescue team is still on the lake uh, searching for those who are still under the water. <laughs> 
And that's all the news we had for you on around Uganda today. We are going to keep you updated on what is happening uh, on the same incident and much more new stories happening across the country. What you have to do is to just visit our website, which is www.newvision.co.ug forward slash video and you can also follow us on our social media platforms facebook is the new vision twitter is at new vision wire instagram is at new vision wire and our youtube channel is new vision tv remember to catch up with me on my twitter handle which is Roth the voice thank you for watching see you tomorrow